Hello everyone, this is a, um, well, I'm going to teach you how to use Zyko FX. What you can do is you install a new program up there, and it just basically gives you this. This right here is the standard size will give you. You can pick up to about 120, that's like 152 pixels if you want to. Um, and then basically what you need to do now is draw your, um, you know, the file that you want to be your icon for whatever you want it to for whatever you need it for and um... you can see on the side there's a bar with all the pictures there and it tells you to where to look for the pictures if you want to you can just go ahead and click a picture from your computer and put it on there right away like that but in um... you know just basically draw your um... icon and go ahead and do that. I hopefully I'm giving you good enough information. I'm not sure if I'm pushing you away with quietness or anything. You know what? That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to teach you how to use this. But you know, it's a lot like paint. There's your tools and stuff. I'll go over most of it with you. You know, brush size. And what I'm doing right now is messing with the alpha channel, that which is basically the part of it that's transparent or not. We want the we want all the way around this, that which I just did to be um a dark you know to be slightly black with alpha channel and it's it looks gray but what it is it's going to be black but you can see through it like it's transparent a bit and then we're going to go through text you pick your font you uh mess with your other stuff that you need it to be type in what you want this is i'm just going to type in bad ex for a bad example because i'm pretty sure that's uh, what i'm giving you right now but um, after typing that in, you know, put it where you want it. You know, disconnect, go up to save, save as, or whatever you need to. Put it where you want it. Put where you want to save it as, and how you, what kind of um. Bleh. Sorry, I'm can't, I can't talk. Uh, basically, tell it where you want to save it as, and what you want to say. Here's my desktop, as you can see. Lots and lots of crap is what I have on it. I need to clean it up. But um what you can do is that's it right there. It's not a huge file. Um and what you need to do is after you have a you know your exe file or whatever file you need it for, go ahead and make a shortcut of it. Go to properties and there'll be change right there. And what you want to change it to is um you want to look you want to browse for the thing you just made after you found it go ahead double click on it and click OK and it'll be there but because I was very very stupid and saved it in over and saved it over an AV you know a video file it's not going to show you until right then and that's basically